Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to the rustic Vaughn Lodge, where today I'm filming my 500th video. Believe it or not, this dumb channel has lasted long enough that I've made 500 videos. And I knew that this day was coming because I noticed. And this is according to YouTube, so according to them, According to YouTube and my YouTube page, this is my 500th video. So it made me think about my channel and it made me think back to when I started my channel a little over a year ago. And I have fond memories of starting my channel and my first few videos uh, that I did. I looked back at some of those just out of nostalgia and they're bad. Um, I was, I was noticeably less comfortable doing this. I don't think I realized it at the time. But looking back at them now, I could see that I hadn't quite figured out how I was going to do this. And I was probably concerned about things that I'm not concerned about now. And, you know, I was just figuring it out, obviously. But I have good memories of doing that. I have good memories of figuring it out and starting to do those original videos and the encouragement that I got from the few viewers who, who saw them uh, when I started and the encouragement I got from my fellow booktubers. There were, there were, there were a few booktubers that kind of started around the same time that I did. And we are still booktube friends and that is what I got into this for in the first place anyway, was to meet others and uh, communicate with others who liked books as much as, as I do. And the community aspect was the main thing for me, I think. And I, I feel like I achieved my goals as far as that goes pretty early before I even got 100 subscribers. And it's been a lot of fun. I have to say, it's been a lot of fun. And it's interesting looking back at some of those earlier videos. Uh, like I said, a lot of them were bad, but, or at least I hadn't quite figured out how I wanted to do what I was doing yet. Of course, Feral, my, re my book review of Feral by Breton Rocher, that's not how you pronounce his name. Feral, my Feral book review, of course, is still the greatest thing I've ever done. And still not too, bit, too many people have watched that, probably because it's so early. Although, my most watched video is the top 20 greatest novels ever made or ever written video, which is terrible. That was a legitimately terrible video, and it's the one video everybody's seen for my channel. It's, it's definitely the video that has the most views. And it's a really early video. It's, it's one of the first ones I did. So that's unfortunate. But uh, looking back, it was fun to look at those. I, I realized, I watched my review of Dark Matter. My, my review of the book Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. And when, that was an interesting experience because doing the video for that. And I remember doing the video for that because when I read that book, after I read it, I thought, eh, that was all right. It was okay. It was a good book, but it was not great. And that's what I say in the video as I started my Blake Crouch review. But I realized as I was doing the video that I actually thought that book was a big steaming pile of crap. And I realized why as I was talking about it. Everything that I didn't like about that book kind of came up as I was filming the video. And so it turns out I don't really think that book was good, but not great. I actually think in a lot of ways that book is a pretty bad book. But I didn't realize it until I had started making the video. And I could see my, I saw, I watched this and I, I could see myself realizing, oh, that book was just crap as I, as I was filming it, 
which was an interesting experience. Excuse my groaning dog. Why are you groaning down there? She's groaning, little Rhonda, under the table. So that was interesting to watch again. I've made, I've created one tag, which was the astounding science fiction tag. That was fun. And I had that experience, which many, many booktubers probably have when they've created a tag and other people do the tag who you don't know and don't know you. And they're making, they're, they're recording their versions of your tag. And they're like, I don't know who did this tag. You know, I've never heard of that person, but here I'm going to do it anyway. And that was interesting. It's interesting how, how tags float around out there. That was fun. I ought to do another tag one of these days. I think I'll do a horror themed tag one of these days whenever I get around to it. Hey, it's me watching this video from the future of this video. Actually, I was watching this and I realized I came to the part, I, I watch my videos over before I put them up just to make sure I don't say anything too dumb. I mean, I always say dumb things, uh, but you know, I wanna make sure I don't say anything too dumb. Anyway, I came to the part of the video where I was talking about the astounding science fiction tag that I created. And I forgot to mention one of the, one of the best stories about that tag is when I, when I was filming it, I had, I had got COVID, I got COVID. And I hadn't realized that I had COVID yet. And my body started reacting to having COVID. And it, I had some strange reactions. And one of the things that happened is my upper lip swel swelled up. And it happened while I was filming the video. Only I didn't really realize it until I, after the video, I had finished the video. And so in the, in the video, I literally have this swollen lip and it's like swelling up during the video. And nobody has ever mentioned it, I guess because I look so freakish anyway, that just nobody noticed that I was starting to look like an alien as I was filming this tag. And I didn't realize how visible it was until the next day when I was putting, putting the video up. I didn't even rewatch it until the next morning when I was putting the video up. And I had to make a thumbnail for it and everything. And then I realized, oh my goodness, I, I look like an alien. But it was too late, I had to put it up, even though I looked like an alien. Otherwise, heaven forbid, I would have nothing to put up that day. And we can't have that, so. And like I said, nobody has ever said anything about it. Nobody's ever said, geez, what the, what the hell happened to you while you were filming that video? It's like no one noticed. Somebody must have noticed, right? That I started looking like an alien while I was doing my astounding science fiction tag? Maybe not. Like I said, I could look so freakish all the time that it might not matter. Anyway, I thought that was a funny story, so I just inserted that here. But by far, the best thing or the best... The most satisfying thing about this channel so far for me has been uh, the reception to June on the Range, uh, the reading event devoted to Western fiction, which I didn't think anybody would join me on. I thought I would be alone on June on, June on the Range. But it actually proved to be successful and modestly popular. And I think a lot of that has to do with the co-hosts who joined me uh, doing June on the Range. I think uh, they really helped sell it. And it was a, a successful booktube event and a, and a nice experience. And I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that every June for as long as my channel is around. Which brings me to, I'm just babbling, but... Which brings me to my thoughts about the future of my channel. I make a lot of videos. I've made, I start off doing a video pretty much every day, then it was like six days a week. And it's still mostly that. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been rough, so I've missed more days than usual. And that might continue through the month, I don't know. 
I don't know that I'm always going to be able to keep up that pace of a video a day or almost a video a day. But I might. Because one thing I've noticed is that I have no, sh I, there's no shortage of ideas, of video ideas. There's so much I want to talk about that no matter how many videos I make, I'm never going to get to probably everything I want to say. Probably because, you know, I've been reading books, you know, for over 40 years and thinking about book, the books that I've read and really have had a lot of ideas about the books that I've read that I have never had a chance to express because nobody's interested. But this gives me a chance to talk about it. And there, I ha still have a ton of ideas. But looking back at some of my earlier videos, I noticed that there were some things that I talked about in my earlier videos that I want to revisit and talk about again now that I kind of know what I'm doing. For example, one of my earliest videos was a Richard Matheson video, which wasn't bad. But I realized, I realize now that there's a lot more I want to say about Richard Matheson as an author. He's one of my favorite writers. And so I'm definitely going to be doing a few videos on Richard Matheson in the future. The same goes for Ray Bradbury. I've got at least one Ray Bradbury video that I really want to do, uh, and probably several more after that. Uh, a lot of stuff that I did when I first started, I'm going to kind of revisit some of those ideas and do them now that I've had a little bit more experience doing this. I'm going to continue with Robert E. Howard, of course, hopefully finding time to do the Robert E. Howard show. One thing I have noticed recently is that I'm having a harder time doing videos that are specific to a day, like the Sunday Penguin pretty much has to be done on Sunday. But because of my erratic schedule, that can sometimes be difficult. And like yesterday, I missed the Sunday Penguin and I put something else up instead. I put the dog tag up instead of the Sunday Penguin. That is, I'm going to continue to try to do on Sunday. Uh, Robert E. Howard was mostly being done on Monday, but I, I'm not sure if I can keep that up. Obviously, today is Monday. Is it? Yes. And no Robert E. Howard show. I'm going to have that up later on the, this week, I hope. So it's going to be a little bit more sporadic in the future. But I also want to revisit some H.P. Lovecraft and talk more about H.P. Lovecraft. Because it's been a while since I did my series on Mythos Monday. I used to talk about Lovecraft every Monday instead of Robert E. Howard. And so I have a lot more to say about Lovecraft I have a lot more to say about a lot of stuff. And I'm going to be doing a lot of videos specific to an author and their works. Like H. Ryder Haggard, a writer that people have heard of but might not know a lot of the stuff that, Robert, that H. Ryder Haggard wrote. He wrote 60 plus books, very few of which ever get read nowadays. But they are all available as ebooks, so you can read them. So I want to talk about H. Ryder Haggard, uh, William Hope Hodgson, I want to talk about. Uh, I've intended to talk about that author and his works since I've started. There are a lot of authors like that. H.G. Wells needs a revisit, even though I've talked a bit about H.G. Wells. I want to talk more about H.G. Wells. So all of that stuff is coming up in the future, but mostly I'm doing this video uh, to thank you, the viewers, uh, who have watched me and have supported me all this time. I really appreciate it. And this year is pretty much booked mostly. I've talked about my plans for this year. Although there is going to be a change. I said I wasn't going to join any more reading events. And it turns out I'm going to because there's one coming up that hasn't been announced yet that I just can't pass up. I just can't pass it up. Uh, and I am going to be reading more Westerns throughout the year too. You know, I'm reading Lonesome Dove right now. What, how, how far am I? I'm 630 pages into Lonesome Dove. And 
everything I had heard about this book going in was that this is the greatest Western ever written. And I was skeptical of that claim because there are a lot of great Westerns that I've read that I figured could probably claim that spot. This almost certainly is the greatest Western ever written. Uh, the further I've gotten into it, the further I've realized, yeah, this is just as good as everybody says it is. This is almost certainly the greatest Western ever written. But before I say that for sure, there are other Westerns that I've read that are really great and that are very hard, highly regarded. I want to read those again so that by the time June on the range rolls around, I will be able to say definitively, or as close as I can, as close as I can whether this is in fact the greatest Western ever written. So we'll see. I'm going to be continuing to read Westerns until next June on the range. But man, it's going to be hard to top this book, and I'm not sure it can be done. Anyway, that was a tangent. I just shook the camera. The, the camera. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, I was thanking you guys for all of the support. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate uh, the support from my fellow booktubers who have been so awesome. And I support the viewers who have watched me. Some of you have watched me this whole time. Not, not many. But some of you have watched me the whole time I've been on, and I really appreciate those of you who have. Uh, that's great. That's, uh, that's more than I could have asked for. So I will do my very best to provide you with more nonsensical, dopey videos. Another 500, I'm hoping. Let's hope. Probably, hopefully more than that. But I at least want to get another 500 videos out there. We'll see. Uh, all for free, of course. You know, YouTube probably puts, puts videos on the front of my, or puts ads on the front of my videos, you know. But I will never put ads in my videos. But YouTube probably does. Damn them. Damn them. Okay, that's all I have to say. I will catch you next time.